Hey guys, Dennis Leskovitz here with you today and right now I'm going to show you how you can get an Apple Maps citation to further boost your rankings and your overall business presence on Google, all right? But first, why does Google need citations in general? So Google is in the business of trying to prove to themselves that you are who you say you are. So what that means is that if I'm John and I'm and I say to Google, "Hey Google, I'm John's and my my business is John's Pizza and this is my address and this is my phone number." Then Google says, "Okay, great, but now I need proof." And by having citations, you're proving to Google that you are who you say you are. So this is very important for Google. And once Google understands your general brand, right, they see that you have the same exact phone number across all of your citations. You have the same exact address. You have the same exact name across all of your citations. Google starts trusting you that you are a real brand. This is very important for Google because Google hates these little spammy, a ranking rent and rank uh, websites who are trying to game the system Google rewards real legitimate brands so now why do we need an Apple map citation Apple Maps is extremely powerful Apple Maps at this point in time is the second largest mapping platform in the United States so if you get a citation on Apple Maps it's very powerful and Google trusts Apple Maps very much so this is why you need a citation. When you get a citation from Apple Maps, it helps you rank a lot higher. It's a, it's a core foundational um, thing that you must do. It's a citation that you must get. It's gonna help you quite a bit in your business. Now, a note here is that if you have a hidden address on your Google My Business, meaning if, you're, if you are a service area business that does not have a specific address where customers go to, Apple Maps might not let you get a citation all right so this is just a note it's worth a try but lately there has been a tendency where apple maps doesn't like when you don't have um a an address on your google my business or maybe you don't have an address on yelp um you don't have any kind of entity established yet so beforehand maybe try getting at least a yelp account and again if you are a service area business give it a try but just know that it might not always work and but again it's worth a try it's worth it to take your time so right now i'm going to jump into the computer and i'm going to show you exactly how to get an apple map citation now before we get into the, we get inside the computer i just want to note that if you want to work with me specifically if you want me to analyze your business to see what your you know little points are if you want me to help you rank go ahead and schedule an appointment i'm going to have my calendar link down below all you do is just you select the time you schedule an appointment with me and we'll get on a call and we're gonna talk. We're gonna, I'm gonna look into your business, I'm gonna look into your problems, and I'm gonna help you rank higher. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you how to get an Apple Maps citation to help you rank your Google My Business higher and higher. All right, are you ready? Let's go. All right, so once we're inside the computer, what you wanna do is you wanna head over to mapsconnect.apple.com. So that's mapsconnect.apple.com dot com that's right up here on top and you just want to sign in if you don't have an account go ahead and just make an account and then um, you should be able to sign in from there so once you're inside the account um, I have a place here that's already inside of here but what you want to do is you just want to go up top and add a place now because I already have a place here your dashboard might look a little different but in any case you just want to add a place so I'll go ahead and press add place now the next screen is going to show you to it's going to tell you to find and claim your place. So that means try searching for your place. So in my case, I'm going to be looking for a specific company. So I'm just going to be typing it in at this point. Now I know for a fact that I didn't claim this company yet, so it shouldn't be on Apple Maps right now. But you would just want to type in the company name and the zip code or the city name and press search. All right, so when the, when the results pop up, you can see that your business should not be on here, but Google is, or not Google, Apple Maps is trying to see if there's anything already in their system. So at the bottom here, it says, don't see your place listed, just press add a new place. 
All right. So at this point, I'm going to name, put the official name as the place name, and I'm going to fill out all of this information. For the categories, go ahead and fill all of this out. As for the phone number, I need to give me a second. I'm going to find the phone number right now. One thing to note here is that they are going to be calling this phone number. So you just want to make sure that it's available to accept calls. So there we go. At this point, they're going to call me right now. So I need to be ready to answer the phone. Two, to repeat your code, press one. Hang up when finished. All right, as you can see, I just got the code through the phone number that was on file. So now I'm going to proceed to the next screen. Right now it's asking me to enter the address. So once again, I'm going to look and find the address for that for the business I'm trying to verify. Go ahead and just put that in here. Go ahead and just fill everything out. Go ahead and fill out the hours as well. And then fill out the web links. I do recommend trying to fill out as much as possible. Again, we want to make sure these citations are as full as possible, but for this a video right now I'm going to keep it short so we're just gonna press next give them a second here let them analyze ready to submit to update Apple Maps you must submit your edits would you like to submit your changes now or review so submit now and there we go so at this point you have finished everything um, you should be getting an email pretty soon from Apple Maps saying that you submitted a business to Apple Maps but other than that, I just got my email right now. But other than that, you should be all set. So congratulations, you now added your business to Apple Maps. Give them some time to verify. Again, it's worth a try. Sometimes they might not approve it. Sometimes they will approve it. But it's this is a very powerful citation for Google that's going to help you rank quite a bit. Alrighty, uh, this is it for this video. Again, if you want to work with me directly, go ahead and hit that calendar link down below. Schedule a time and we're going to get on a call and I'm gonna analyze your business and help you out. But other than that, that, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.